Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today I thought it would rank the Neil Young album covers. I believe I have uh, over 40, I think something like 43 albums. And a couple of them are pretty good albums. <laughs> no, I, uh, I love Neil Young. And uh, the thing is, what, what got me the idea to do this was I was kind of really appreciating some of his album covers. But then when I look through his whole discography, it's like some of them are not very good. Uh, including the worst one, at least for me, Neil Young, Peace Trail. <laughs> D didn't take much thought for this album cover. And uh, also, one other thing, at the end of this video, after I'm done ranking them, there's a video. It's a song called At the Bar, and the singer and... The, the person doing the music is Eric Myers. He did my Redneck Canadian album with me a few years back. Well, not a few years back, around 2006. And around the same time, he did this. I gave him the lyrics for At The Bar, and he created this song, and I did a video for it. So the lyrics are by me, and everything else is by Eric Myers. And he actually sound... The reason I'm putting this including this video at the end, is he sounds quite a bit like Neil Young. He's not trying to impersonate him. That's his, his vocals. And also, even his guitar playing, he's an awesome guitarist. Even his, and he is a fan of Neil Young, uh, even his guitar solo is reminiscent of Neil Young. So here we go with the worst, <laughs> Peace Trail, Followed by, yeah, basically the same thing, just not much thought <laughs> put into the album cover. I, I really don't understand. It's, it's frustrating. Uh, you know, there's so many bad album covers, even by great bands. And you have to wonder who agreed to, yeah, that album cover. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> but. Living with War, then a touch better, but still not good. <laughs> Neil Young, Are You Passionate? Yeah, and this one actually, you know, the ranking of them, it's kind of difficult because some of these early ones are all pretty god awful. You know, at least for me, you're, some of you are going to, yeah, I like that album cover. So let me know in the comment section below. If, uh, if you disagree on uh, some of them. But silver and gold, that actually hurts my eyes. <laughs> and I don't know. It, it's so blurred, like, I don't know. <laughs> Neil Young landing on water. I actually love this album. I know it's got the dreaded 80s production, you know, the the gated uh, drums, the drum machine or whatever. But I think the songs are great, and I really do love the album. I think it's underrated. But that album cover, not so much. Yeah, another one. This kind of reminds me of uh, Paul McCartney's Driving Rain, where he took the picture of him with his watch, which had a camera on it, a uh, really low-pixel this one's not quite as bad, pixel-wise, but it's still <laughs> a, kind of a ugly album cover. But that's Neil for you. Not that he's ugly. Uh, it's starting to get better. This isn't terrible, but it's, it's... I guess it's just okay. Psychedelic Pill, Neil Young, Crazy Horse, and... I think this was in 2012. It's around the time I saw him in Kingston, Ontario, with my youngest son, Michael. Uh, he put on a great show. And I was pretty close to him, too. It was cool. Neil Young, Americana. Like I said, it's not bad, but... 
Neil Young and Crazy Horse Life? I don't even... Are those bars? I, you know, the picture of Neil, of course, but I'm not sure about the rest of them. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comments section below. Neil Young and the Blue Notes. This note's for you. Kind of. But they're slowly going to start getting better. Neil Young Freedom. It's just boring, I guess. Great album, but <laughs> once again, not much thought put into the album cover. Neil Young and Promise of the Real. The Mon... Santo years. I've never heard this album, but yeah. Once again, a kind of ugly album cover. I don't like it. Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Greendale. And, you know, there might be an album or two missing, but I think I got all of his studio well. Yeah, Neil Young, Promise of the Real, The Visitor. It's okay. Neil, Neil loves his cars. That was hard to say. <laughs> Neil Young with Crazy Horse, Broken Arrow, I believe. Yeah, like I said, the, the rankings, they could almost interchange some of these album covers. Once again... It's just dull, you know, hawks and doves. This is the album with Pearl Jam. I forget the name of it at the moment. But Mir Mirrorball, is it? <laughs> I that's a Mirrorball. Yeah, I think it's called Mirrorball. Prairie Wind. Just, you know, it's there none of these are good, at least for me. They're but like I said, the the last few aren't terrible, but they're not. <laughs> they're not good either. I'll let you know when there's a good one. Now, this one is kind of interesting. Because I believe it's I'm not into cars or anything, but I know Neil, like I said, Neil is. Chrome Dreams 2. So I believe that's the hood of some vehicle. That's kind of cool. I do like that. And I guess this would be like an, another boring kind of ugly album cover. And maybe it shouldn't be ranked over Chrome Dreams 2, but I guess maybe I'm also thinking of the music within. It's such a dark, depressing album. And so that album cover suits it perfectly. So that's why it's ranked a little higher. Long May You Run with uh, Stephen Stills. Still nothing too exciting. I kind of like this one. It's so weird. I'm not sure. Is that Neil Young that, that painted that? Um, Zuma with Crazy Horse. It's, it's so, so bizarre that I like it. And it's a great album course too. A Letter Home. Once again, it's an ugly album cover, but it suits the idea of the album. He recorded this in some old Jack White's old uh, recording booth from the whatever, 30s, 40s. Uh, a Letter Home. So it looks like an old photograph. So it kind of works for me. And I love this album cover. It's it's stark and it's very catchy. And it also suits <laughs> the simplicity, the, the great simplicity though, of the songs within. Some you know, some simplicity. Uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Reactor. Neil Young Story Tone, once again, with an automobile. Still nothing great, though. 
Colorado. It seems his later album covers are the worst or not as good. This one's not bad. Lenoise, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, I, I do like that one. So this is a good album cover. It's pretty cool. Comes a time. It, once again, it matches the, uh, the music within a kind of a folk, folky album and I just like the picture. He's smiling and he's playing his his guitar. It's a great album too. I love it. his uh, debut album. I think sometimes it would have Neil Young on the cover, but I believe originally it didn't have his name on the cover. And once again, it's pretty pretty crazy, but I don't know. I like the colors. Yep, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, sort of like the Harvest pitcher with the doorknob and the reflection of the band, Ragged at Glory. So that, I like that album cover. That's cool too. Crazy Horse, Barn. Once again, it really matches the music within Old Ways, which is mainly a an old country album, and I really like that. I need to get it again on CD. But, uh, you know, I guess in a way it is boring, but, <laughs> and the album isn't really that boring. It's good old country music. And uh, so I like the album cover. Once again, very plain, simple. Uh, but also the texture of that, of the original album. And I'm getting the box set today, by the way. I'll let out that secret now. I'll be doing an unboxing for it. But I like the font and it's very simple, but I, I think it's a very nice album cover. Oh, here's the top 10, number 10. Sleeps with Angels. It's just cool. I like it. Kind of eerie in a way, too. World Record, his most recent album, and that his that is his father, Scott Young, who was a writer, a sports writer for I believe the Toronto Star or Toronto Telegram. And so it's nice to, you know. Uh, have a showing a picture of his dad on the album cover. It's cool. I like it. Harvest Moon. Once again, kind of eerie in a way. It's like Neil Young is a scarecrow. I think some of you should know the story behind this. Uh, Neil, Neil Young signed to Geffen Records, and then he, it's a siren, but I'm not gonna duck. <laughs> he signed to, Def, to Geffen Records, and I think he released, was it Trans first? And so, you know, David Geffen was, this isn't the kind of Neil Young album we 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 were expecting right because they want the sales and so yeah i i think he might have released two albums old ways was the other one maybe and then david geffen was saying we want a rock album we want a rock album neil and so neil gave them a rock and album called everybody's rock and with uh and i think it was a very short album too it was under 30 minutes uh, doing, you know, like 50s type songs. I actually think it's not a bad album. I, th I think it's a fun album. But uh, it was kind of getting back to <laughs> at the record company with, you want a record, a rock and record? I'll give you a rock and record. <laughs> Once again, uh, Rust Never Sleeps. 
very cool uh, stage shot of them with the huge speakers and the big microphone. Getting near the end. Trans, yeah. I know some people, some Neil Young fans don't care for this album. It's one of my favorites of his. I loved it. You know, the, the day it came out and I bought it, I appreciated it. And very futuristic. Even today, it looks futuristic. So I've always liked that album cover. We're getting, I think this is near the end. Yeah, everybody knows this is Nowhere. His second album with his dog there, leaning on the tree. Kind of reminds me a, a bit of uh, Plastic Ono Band with uh, John and Yoko leaning against the tree. But I just like the whole look of it and the kind of a blurred photo. And after the gold rush, another one with that old woman walking past Neil. And I believe on the, or it's cut out, but Graham, Graham Nash was with him too, but he's not shown in the picture. I think number one is coming up. Nope, this is number two. On the Beach. Another great Neil Young album. This was almost my number one. I just love the whole look of it. In the newspaper. I don't know, is that a... A car? Or is that like a... I don't know what that is. Sunk in the sand. And then the boots beside Neil and... Number one is American Stars and Bars. That is just such a kind of humorous, weird, and funny album cover. <laughs> so I would like your thoughts on what is your favorite El Neil Young album covers and, uh, and what are your least favorite? Thanks for watching and, en and enjoy the music video coming up by Eric Myers. He plays all of the music, like I said, and uh, sings. And I just wrote the, the lyrics, which I think are pretty darn good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.
fishing.